Carbon Ludi. What is carbon? Ano yung carbon? Uh, sa taong walang buhok. Eh di carbon. What is carbon actually? Carbon is a very abundant element. A living organisms have carbon as the basis for life because at some point we are sometimes called carbon-based life forms. Carbon can be found in some non-living things in a way called carbon cycle. It exists in pure or nearly pure forms but can also be combined with other elements to form molecules. It is mostly found stored in rocks and sediments while the rest is located in the ocean, the atmosphere, and in all living organisms. One fact learners, did you know that our human body is actually made up of 18% carbon? Its role is mostly structural, forming the backbone of many organic molecules. Carbon is one of the most important elements in the living system, including human beings, plants, and animals. They are made up of carbon compounds like protein, fats, and carbohydrates, and many more. In fact, the food we consume are also form of carbon, such as pulses, grains, and fruit. Carbon is also essential components of the fuel we use, such as petroleum, coal, diesel, and natural gas. Life on Earth would not be possible without carbon. This is quite due to the carbon ability to readily form bonds with other atoms. Plants also use carbon dioxide, a combination of carbon and oxygen, to synthesize the food, which is useful for organisms and for themselves too. Carbon dioxide also serves as a greenhouse and trap heat in the atmosphere. Without it and other greenhouse gases, Earth would be frozen world. Now, Let's first talk about what is carbon cycle and its process. The carbon cycle is the biogeochemical cycle by which carbon is exchanged among the biosphere, pedosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, and the atmosphere of the Earth. Meaning, it is the process in which carbon atoms continually travel from the atmosphere of the Earth and then back into the atmosphere. There is also a process of how nature adds carbon to the air and it's called sources. One example is respiration or breathing. Every time we breathe, we inhale oxygen and in return, we exhale carbon dioxide. Next is decaying of living things. Decaying is rooting or decomposing through the action of bacteria and fungi of living things like plants and animals when they die. Since we are born with carbon in our body, we will return it on the earth when we die. It will either be released into the atmosphere or be stored in the ground as fossil fuels. And lastly, a process called combustion or burning. We humans have utilized the usefulness of fire a long time ago. So when plants, trees, fossil fuels, or everything that made of carbon had burned, carbon is released into the atmosphere. We see some smoke burning, and that's how carbon goes up to the air. Let's focus on how carbon cycle works. Carbon gas combines with oxygen passing in the atmosphere to form colorless gas called carbon dioxide or CO2. CO2 from the air is absorbed by green plants during photosynthesis. Thus, CO2 is an important element in the formation of roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. When plants are eaten by animals, the carbon stored within plants becomes part of the animal's bodies. Through respiration and decay, carbon is released into the environment. Another one is long-term carbon cycle. Carbon can also be stored underneath the earth as fossil fuels. The decayed bodies of plants and animals buried a long time ago formed the fossil fuels through numerous chemical changes. The tremendous pressure exerted by the layers of the earth and the remaining plants and animals also help produce fossil fuels. Oil and coal are samples of fossil fuels. Carbon is trapped in fossil fuels. The use of fossil fuels results in the release of carbon into the atmosphere through burning or the process of combustion. Carbon may chemically combine with oxygen, producing carbon dioxide. It is dissolved in bodies of water such as seas and oceans. Here they are used by aquatic plants and animals. The carbon cycle continues as long as they are absorbed and released in the environment. Carbon is a building block of life. The foundation of all life on Earth required to form complex molecules like proteins, carbohydrates, and DNA. This element is also found in our atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. Carbon helps to regulate the Earth's temperature, makes all life possible, is a key ingredient in a food that sustains us and provides a major source of energy to fuel our global economy. 
The carbon cycle describes the process in which carbon atoms continually travel from the atmosphere to the Earth and then back into the atmosphere. Since our planet and its atmosphere form a closed environment, the amount of carbon in this system does not change. Where the carbon is located in the atmosphere on Earth is constantly in flux. Nature is amazing as it balances things like carbon in the atmosphere and on the surface. However, human activities may cause destruction in an ecosystem more often than natural disruptions. Some people engage in activities that harm the environment. The cutting down of trees has resulted in the rapid denudation of our forests. Without trees, there's nothing to absorb excess amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This results in the abnormal warming of the earth. So, now you've learned the importance of the carbon and the carbon cycle, let's take care of our environment. Sin